blue. This is blue hair and tarot. We're going to do a read for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome, Virgos. So glad you're here. So glad you showed up. This is going to be about you and your person, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the person you're thinking about or the person you're with. And let's see. We're going to call in Spirit to get a clear guided message for Virgo and their person, hopefully to bring you to a place of clarity and truth and love, your natural state. Your natural state all right let's see playfulness this is nice recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit and fun to shine so we're feeling a little light lighthearted possibly this is nice pay attention to the red flags <laughs> the signs are cautioning you engagement what Getting to know each other. All right, I'm just gonna start writing with the tarot because this is like split personality. Your person wants to get engaged to you. You might need to pay attention to the red flags. All signs are cautioning you. Maybe you need to get to know the situation before you make a commitment. Um, maybe this person wants commitment and you don't. All right, how do you feel about this person? Well, you feel very good about this person, or you might be healing with this person, but this person might be very magical to you. You might put them up on a pedestal. They might be an Aquarius. They might be literally a star. Somebody in movies, somebody who's up on stage, popular around the community. And they see you as, they want to move towards you. They want to let go of the past and they want to move towards you. They see you as their world. They see you as their future. And maybe they're making a decision to get engaged to you, to um, propose to you. But they're looking at you. They're looking towards you. Okay. They view you as maybe focusing on the past. Maybe if you guys have a past together or you have a past before this person, Maybe it's hard for you to let them go. Or maybe you're sad about something, grieving, um, stuck in the past, stuck in emotions, unable to look at maybe the offer that they wanna give you. That's how they see you. You see them as they speak very, very clearly. They might be head over heart. They take control with their words. And again, I have Aquarius energy, so you might be dealing with an Aquarius placement with your person okay what's your little secret that you can't decide what you want you're just maybe you're just not over something maybe you're healing from something maybe you're healing from this relationship and you can't decide like you feel like there's red flags you feel like there's a block in which you don't know how to move forward so you're, you haven't made a decision Virgo um they feel like it's time for I don't know, like reconciliation, it's time for a decision to be made. Um, like they're kind of ready to start, you know, complete a cycle, start a cycle. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, let's do... Let's just do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more, Virgo. Justice, that's a sign of possible marriage, death for them. But then this, these cards came out, death, sunshine, juggling. <clears throat> We'll hang on to the death for sure. No. Spirit wants to say Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are going to get married. Maybe this person's going to propose to you. Maybe some of you guys are married. It just feels like the scales are balancing out. I mean, judgment cards when spirit kind of intervenes... Maybe this person knows that that's what's happening. Maybe it's happening within them, causing them to come and propose to you or balance things out. Um, 
you're gonna have clarity. The red flags might have been from the past or maybe they still show you signs, but as far as their energy and you're wondering how they're feeling, they're feeling called to move forward with you. Yeah, let's do some clarifications. I'm actually gonna go right ahead and be like, what does this person wanna say to you, Virgo? Cut off. This person, boundaries have been enforced. Don't leave. They don't want you to let them go. They don't want you to cut them off. They're not ready to part ways. Maybe you guys were in separation and there's like a coming around. What do you want to say to them? Be mindful of negative and toxic behavior. Shadow work may be necessary. So you're really worried about the shadows, the unknown, the mysteries like right now. And there's a decision to be made. Like they need to make a decision to move forward with you or you need to make a decision to move forward with them. Praying and like moving to spirit and like leaning on spirit to like be a part of this relationship and this transformation or a part of your transformation is definitely like being called called for but i do feel like in the end you're going to get your justice justice will be done whatever that means to you okay you feel like this person can be stubborn This person really wants to pursue you. They want to move forward with you, okay? And this person might really be like in the in the spotlight or they see you in the spotlight. Someone's in the spotlight here. But they, it's almost like I want to say they're proud of you. They're proud to be seen with you. I don't know. Um, they really see you as overwhelmed, spread too thin, you know, having some kind of financial stress, like having, just being stuck on some, they see you as kind of being down. Um, and you see them as being kind of moody, you know, a heartbreaker even, this person. So I feel like something definitely has gone on in the past with you, um, with you both, really. Maybe even a separation at some point. And it's basically saying get playful, get out of this, like, thick energy. Get out of, like, the red flag energy. Um, I think Spirit's actually helping you guys out. Surrender folding on your beliefs. It's like, it's hard for you to be courageous enough to move forward with this person or make a decision. It's like there's fear involved. Okay, high priestess is clarifying the judgment. So this person, hands down, is being moved by spirit. Spirit is changing them, spirit is molding them. This person might be the divine feminine or they see you as the divine feminine. This is like one of those divine masculine, divine feminine relationships. Um, really spirits involved shaping and molding one another moving them into a state of balance healing wounds that no longer serve healing that old three of cups energy so that no longer we're stuck in a cycle but we can expand beyond the cycles that we've been living in through this life other lives such as or or the lives of our families so some of you might be ignoring your calling and that might be like me messing with your clarity. And that might be like your vocation, but it could also be like, what's your calling? Like, who are you? Where's your connection to the divine? Like, um, cause there's like self doubt here. Maybe it's hard for you to really, this could be, you know, roles could be reversed here, but it, maybe it's hard for you to really realize that spirit's involved in everything here. It's when we surrender to spirit, let spirit work out things as they should. And you'll see all the coincidences. That's the whole point. To kind of increase the surrender. Lack of options, avoid issues, real. Check. You're their only option. They want to pursue you in the end. Um... I'm getting that they're going to pursue you. They're going to come in. They're going to, they're, they want a new start with you. And for some of you, maybe that's the justice that you need, you know, that this person hasn't let you go and they want to be with you. Whether you decide that or not, it's up to you. For others of you, I feel like you'll be in a balanced enough state that those old three of cups that have happened in the past won't interfere 
in your experience with this person that you could move into this playful energy. But hands down, your energy, your side of the situation, and also if you relate to this side, is basically like, I don't feel comfortable going forward. Like, it's almost like there were so many red flags in the past, within, without, same, you know? Um, it's almost like you expect them. But I do see in the outcome that things do balance out with the Justice card, you know? I don't know what else to say. Okay, so how do you, how do you, let's expand on how you feel about this person. You're attracted to them. Maybe you feel like they left you. Maybe you feel like, maybe you feel like they need to apologize for leaving you or you need to apologize for leaving them or there's an apology after a separation. Um, okay, you have a lot of fear when it comes to this person. Maybe you're afraid this person's gonna leave you. Maybe it's too hard to be around this energy. Oh my God. Some of you Virgos are really scared of this person or you're afraid of commitment or, yeah. Maybe this person, I mean, there's a lot of grief here. It's almost like the page of wands, like want, maybe you want to apologize or they want, you want them to apologize for the separation, for the fear, for the unknown, for the grief for the sorrow, for the sadness. But I just asked how you feel about this person and you don't feel... It's like, regardless of all the darkness that you've gone through with this person, there is still like an offering, an apology on somebody's side or a desire to reconnect in a childlike way. Hmm. How does your person feel about you? Let me get another deck. Oh, I'll do the Egyptian tarot. I'm just gonna do the roomy. They feel like they want to work on things with you. So I'm going to try not to look at the astrology symbols because it's going to mess me up. They love you. They want to work on things with you and they love you. I feel like this person's very clear that they want to move forward with you. If they were cold in the past, um, I just don't see them. I think, feel like they're warming up. They have a lot of love for you. They want to work with you. They want to build something with you. I feel like this person might want to be engaged to you, like get engaged to you or extend, you know, expand on this commitment. Jack of hearts, they love you. Or that's the Jack of, or that's the Knight of Cups. They have a lot of romantic feelings for you, Virgo. And they're really, really sure. Like there's a lot of sure energy. What did they do in the past or what was the energy in the past? How they treated you or something like that. They treated, maybe you feel like they were taking advantage of you for their money or maybe you guys were married. I don't know. Or like you guys were really in a solid commitment or a strong commitment. This person even had a lot of love for you in the past. Strong, powerful, committed feelings, um, compassion and emotion. If this is a new person, like, they just always had love for you. Really, really, really strong love for you. What happened? I just can't understand why you're so... The Ten of Pentacles, it kind of came out in reverse. Maybe there was a breakup. Maybe there was money problems. I can't even, it's almost like this person's always, maybe it's a new person for some of you, but this person always had strong feelings for you. Like 
Their feelings for you have always been very solid. How did you feel about that? I'm just trying to get like the problem here. What's, what's, the, what's the problem? I should ask that. That's judgment. Right, judgment's 20. It's killing me. Yeah. It's judgment. How do you feel about them? Pressure. I'm not pressured. It's like you feel like they're your soulmate too. Like like they're you're called to them. Yeah. This is the magician. Like you've always wanted to. This is a lot of spiritual energy going on between the two of you. You've always been attracted to them. You were attracted to them. You've, you've tried to manifest them. You feel called to them. So what's the conflict? What's the hesitation? What's the red flag stuff going on? You like to move slowly. Why? The world. I don't know. Maybe you feel like it's, it's scary to commit to them for maybe whatever has gone on in the past between you or before you. You have a fear of commitment. You're, you have a fear of like having a different life cycle or this is your person. There's a resistance to have a new life, a new definition of self. It's as if everything's okay in this situation. I mean, I'm not getting a strong issue here other than there's fear here. Well, and how you feel. Like, I feel like you're saying this person left you, this person this person leave you because there was like too much slow movement or vice versa. I don't know. I'm not getting like fighting. I'm not getting any of that stuff. If it was there, you would know it. Maybe something happened in the past with another person and it's just hard to open up your heart to this person or you can't see building a life with this person or you can't imagine starting a new cycle. I don't know, Virgo, this is like reeking of like fear and commitment on this side. Maybe it's your person and maybe you have good reason or maybe the red flags are just the blocks. Maybe you don't want a relationship right now. Like there's a strong connection, but not a desire. What do you desire? You don't. You do desire them with the eight of wands. You desire like to communicate, to, to be together. <laughs> so what's the problem? What's the problem? It's just a fear of commitment. You know, needing to move into your strength, getting out of your mind. This could be you, this could be your person, but like what's the problem with your person here? There's problem. The person's super independent. They make good money or they are good on their own. They, they have fear about you sometimes. So maybe there's like a lot of fear between the two of you. Honestly, this like it looks like the energy that's keeping you guys from really coming together is like indecision and fear. It's like everything's there right in front of you. And there's just this resistance to like committing or, or coming together maybe it's just like everything's aligned everything's there how do you put it together let's ask for advice because i'm i'm like everything's really good here Virgo. I was, i'm looking for the red flags for you and it looks like there's red flags it could be projection it looks like you've had a hard time in the past or they think you have Do not feel lonely, the entire universe is inside of you. Maybe it's almost like, <laughs> for the both of you maybe, it's like you're both very independent. How do you merge your lives? And there's a fear or, or like maybe you don't feel like it's time yet. 
but it looks like the time is coming in with the judgment card and a new beginning and a new spark and the balancing out of the energy. Um, hmm. Some of you might feel like, you know, you give yourself away to a particular person and then you don't have the other options. And so I don't know. Loneliness can happen. Getting too close. Whenever they rebuild on an old building, they must first of all destroy the old one. It looks like maybe between the two of you, maybe something in your past, but things maybe have been built on fear between the two of you. And that stuff really is being called to collapse. Let it go. Let it collapse. There seems to be a desire to start fresh and that and in that you guys both have to remove the fears and move into faith i feel like you're very attached to your independence or maybe your person is or maybe both of you are but and that's fine i don't think anything's wrong with that but like we are asking about a relationship here and it also just feels like spirit wants to bring you a gift I mean, divine expression, don't you know yet that it is your light that lights up worlds? For some of you, it's finding that own inner light, this person too, tapping into the never-ending abundance within. And maybe it is it is about like not giving your power away, not giving yourself away to the external, but, but tapping in to the ever everlasting love of, of, of God, of spirit, and sharing it with one another. And that there's no one siphoning or taking away energy. There's no energy play here. There's no game. There's just togetherness with spirit, with each other. And so the, the illusion of separation, the, the, that fear component wants to dissolve. Spirit wants to dissolve it and bring you guys together. So that's what I'm getting. I'll pull one more card before I go. It's all about surrender. Cracked up, rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Maybe you feel like you're hitting bottom. Maybe this relationship hit its bottom. Maybe, you know, like something happened where the fear, the things that were built on fear between the two of you or in your life in general, it's just time to break it. It's time to release it. It's time to surrender to what life wants to bring you. And that's it. Stop, like... It seems like you think this person's controlling that that energy you know it's like all that control all that fear it just it just needs to be surrendered and it's scary but the one that can't that needs to have courage isn't isn't the one that really is supposed to be running the show it's surrendering that part of you and allowing God to bring you in what's yours. And I feel like this person's like, like almost like following God completely at this point. I mean, it looks like there was fear in the past with them. There was like darkness. Um, but it's just kind of time to crack that, you know, crack it open. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Let me know what you think of this reading. Sending you much love, Virgo. I do give personal reads. My information is down below in the description box. They start as low as $33 for a 15-minute recorded read.